how do you know if you really like somebody or love somebody maybe or if it's just infatuation <laughs> Okay, this is where the no kissing for three months rule comes in because you can distinguish between chemistry and fact. We are biological creatures designed to procreate. Mother Nature made us sexually impulsive because she wants us to try to make that baby, because she wants every species to survive. So when you're looking for a relationship versus just having fun, which there's nothing wrong with having fun, by the way, because, hey, we got these bodies and they're pleasurable, why not? But when you want a relationship, you want to know, is somebody around me just because they're having fun or is somebody around me because they want the same things I do? They want something long-term. They want to be devoted. They want to create a life together. They have the same goals that I do. They have the same desire to maybe create a family, to buy a house, to travel, or maybe they have the same desire to just be couch potatoes because I just like to stay put. How do you find out? And how do you know if what they're saying, if the answers to those questions are actually true? No kissing for three months means you don't introduce a biology that creates confusion. So I'm gonna put a little bit of science in here. Everybody's lip secretes a chemical that doesn't do anything to them until it comes in contact with another set of lips. The combination, when those lips come together, creates a chemical called phenylethylamine, which I know I'm mispronouncing, but I like to say it this way. P-E-A, you're not gonna remember this, it doesn't matter. It's just a chemical that's an aphrodisiac. This is why kissing precedes sex. But the secondary effect on the female brain, not on the male brain, because sex doesn't affect the male body the same way it affects the female body. Again, think of our fertility cycles. Males are fertile 24 seven. Females have a stop to their fertility. So we don't have the same chemistry, the same biology. That kiss chemical in the female brain sends a signal that she has completed a vetting process. It tells her brain she knows everything she needs to know already, even if she's kissed on a first, second or third date. This is why we go through a honeymoon period, especially women. We get so attached. And, and we have this beautiful first three months because we're on a chemical high, both of us, on this kiss chemical. But you know how they say the honeymoon period lasts for about three months and then dies off? It's because of that chemical. It's because we are jacked up. It's because we are high. And then after three months, guess what? We get used to it. And now we start to see the things that we should have seen from the very beginning those red flags, those incompatibilities that we didn't catch because our mind was fogged up with this chemical. So if, ladies, I'm talking to you, you use a no kissing for three months rule, you maintain a clear perspective. And listen, if a guy can't hang around you for three months without getting that kiss and everything that follows it, you know that he's only around you for what you can give not what he can contribute to the relationship, not because he wants something long term. So if you want to know if you can have something real together, use a no kissing for three months rule, see who goes, the ones who go don't chase after them because you were obviously not on the same page. But if he stays and you get to know each other and you fall more and more for each other because you're finding all these compatibilities, all these similar values, and all this attractiveness because hey, one day you realize, wow, he's so confident and that just turns you on. And that turned on sensation doesn't go away but just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. Guys, I've been with my husband for 14 years. I am more attracted to him today than I've ever been. Even after 14 years, there's something about him that just keeps me so excited. The last time we made out, the last time we made out was today ago. That is how exciting my relationship is. And we took a long, long time before that first kiss happened. So if you wanna know if it's real or not, then use a technique that keeps your mind clear. Don't kiss for three months and see who stays. Oh, oh, oh.